welcome back to my channel, Kristen Cooks. I'm Kristen. That's Huckleberry. Um, so it's another day and tomorrow my husband comes back from his hunting trip. Um, he's been gone for a week and when he's gone, the kids and I like to have meals that um, aren't part of our regular, um, our regular routine because usually they're meals that the hubby is not very fond of <laughs> and but we like them <clears throat> that doesn't mean they're not good they are good and one of the meals that we like to cook is manicotti but when I was at the store today they were out of manicotti shells I don't know what's going on but they were all gone so I had to adjust and made the decision that we will have stuffed shells instead. And um, I'm gonna do a little twist on them in that I'm going to make my own ricotta cheese. Um, I've done this quite a few times before. Sorry if you can hear my washer going, it's down there, down the stairs. But um, anyway, I've done this many, many times before and I like the way it comes out. Um, I'm going to be using lemon juice instead of vinegar in it to get it to curdle and separate the way from the, the milk, the, the, you know, anyway, you'll see <laughs> instead of me trying to explain it. Um, so anyway, if you want to find out how to do this, then, um, let's go to the stove. It's back there. Okay. We made it to the stove. Um, I have my, um, enameled cast iron, I mean, um, Dutch oven, excuse me. And that's what you're going to want to use or a stainless steel pot. Um, something that's non-reactive. Um, so I have four cups of whole milk here. So I'm going to pour this in. Oh. Then we have two cups of heavy cream. <clears throat> two cups of heavy cream. There we go. And this is going to go into the pot. Go. Then we need one teaspoon kosher salt. Where's my salt? Now we're going to just let this come up to a boil. Let's see here. A full boil over medium heat. Okay. Um, stirring occasionally. And then after it's come to a boil, I'll turn off the heat and stir in. I'm going to use lemon juice instead of vinegar. Okay, so as you can see, we are up to a full boil with the milk and cream and salt. So I'm gonna turn the heat off. Give it one little mix. And then we're gonna pull it away from the heat over here. Okay, there's my recipe. And then we're going to add three tablespoons of lemon juice have this stuff here. Right, tablespoon. So one, two, three, 
And then we'll give it a mix. Let it stand for about a minute and then it should start separating as we're speaking here, as I'm speaking, I mean. So I'll see you back here in just a minute. Okay, and then after about a minute, you can see that the curds is separating from the whey. You can see, especially right there where it's bubbling. So I'm just gonna let it sit here for just maybe another minute and then I'll go over to the uh, sink and strain it. So now we've really separated the curds from the whey. So it should start to look like that, kind of a chunky texture. And that means we are ready to strain. So you're supposed to have cheesecloth to strain your um, cheese, but I don't have that. So I'm just using this old kitchen towel and I put it over a fine mesh sieve, as you can see. And then I'm putting it over uh, the glass um, measuring cup I use to measure out, there you can see that a little better, the, the milk and cream. And as you can see, it's draining really nicely like that. So I'm just going to let it sit here and keep draining. The more you let it drain, the thicker your cheese will be. But I'm not going to let it get too thick because I want it to be creamy still and I don't want it to be like dry and just, I mean, chalky is what comes to mind, but I mean, not really chalky, but you know what I mean, just too dry. So I have a little bit of um, milk here left to drain. So I'm just going to keep doing this, let it sit here for a little bit and drain it along here and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. I'm back. So we have ricotta cheese. So it's been sitting for about 20 minutes, I'd say. And if I can get close. So there we go. I tasted it already and it's really good and creamy and a little bit sweet, but like in a good way. Like it's, there's flavor there. It tastes good. So um, I'm thinking I know I just said that I don't want to let it um, strain for too long so it gets all dried out, but I think I do want to let it go a little bit more, just a little bit more, because I don't want it to water down my stuffed shells when I go to cook that later tonight for dinner, because that doesn't sound as good to me. So I'm just gonna, I have to go run and get the kids from school in about half an hour, so. Maybe I'll just let it sit, maybe another 10 minutes or so, and just kind of let a little bit more of the, um, the whey um, drain off the curds. See, I couldn't remember what it was called earlier when I was doing my intro, but curds and whey, curds and whey, that's what we have. But it's really good, and I highly recommend trying this if you haven't done this for yourself. It tastes so much better than getting it store-bought. And all you gotta do is buy the milk and the cream and have a little vinegar or lemon juice on hand. And I feel like a lot of us have those things on hand anyway. So, um, yeah, give it a try. I'll link the recipe in the description box down below when I'm done here, but it's a recipe from Ina Garten, the Barefoot Contessa on the Food Network. Um, I, I like her show and it had just all the ingredients I like because some, some recipes um, out, <laughs> they don't have very much cream in. It's mostly just milk in the recipe for ricotta cheese, but I think you need the extra heavy cream in there. This is a full two cups in here, and that's what really makes it creamy, in my opinion. So I'm just gonna let this strain off a little bit, put it away, and it'll be ready for me to use tonight when I put together the stuffed shells. So come on back with me tonight and we'll make dinner together. Okay, have a good afternoon. Okay, to start out with, you're gonna need a really good marinara sauce. I'm using this Rayo's homemade, very good 
expensive though, okay? I only get it when it's on sale. But you're gonna wanna put a little bit of it in the bottom of your dish. This is a um, serving is for three. That's why I'm using an eight by eight dish. Um, yeah, because it's just the kids and I eating this. So um, just doing that so the noodles don't stick. And then we're putting that aside and then we're gonna get together our filling. This is the ricotta cheese that I made earlier in this video. Um, it turns out really oh, so good. It really is. It's so creamy and it's really good. So I have one egg. We're gonna crack that in. Okay. Very good. All right, what is she gonna pull out next? We're gonna go with seasonings, Italian seasoning. Just measure with what, however you want, whatever, how, however much you want to use is what I do. Okay. Garlic salt, yes, I must. I also put in a little bit of garlic powder too. I didn't show that, but I did that off camera. And then a little black pepper, yes. Then we're gonna go with some cheese. I'm gonna put in some mozzarella. I'm not gonna use all this, by the way. I have, I'm gonna be using cheese tomorrow night for tomorrow night's dinner also. Since my husband's coming home from hunting tomorrow, he has said that he wants pizza. So I'm gonna make homemade pizza tomorrow night. And then we just, I mix it all together. So I'm just keep on mixing here grab my spatula and can I just give a little kudos to myself I'm wearing a white shirt and I did not spill any of the red sauce on my shirt I am very proud of myself I am a klutzy person so the fact that I made it through this whole thing without spilling any sauce on my shirt is amazing go me Okay, so I was showing you the amazing texture of the ricotta cheese filling. So now I'm gonna start filling my shells. Yes, these were jumbo shells, by the way, that I used. Um, see, I'm showing you how, how large they are. Aren't they awesome? And quite awkward, actually, trying to fill these, I must say. That's the one part I don't you know, thoroughly enjoy about this recipe is filling the shells. But here we are, isn't she gorgeous? And so then we're going to just nestle each one into the sauce so it can have a good time in the oven with that sauce. And that Rayo sauce is very good actually. I mean, it is worth every penny to be honest. It's very good. But as I said, I only buy it when it's on sale because $10 for a jar of spaghetti sauce is just crazy. So 
I'm done ranting about that. It's just good. Okay. So I'm just going to keep on filling up the uh, shells here and putting them in the dish and we'll talk about the next step. Okay, so they're all filled, nice and wonderful like. Um, I used all my ricotta cheese filling in this. Um, so now I'm just pouring on some of the, the sauce on top. I'm gonna try and not drown them in the sauce. Save some for a little later, Kristen, okay? And um, it's kind of hard to do this one-handed also. I could have got, went and got my daughter to help me film this, but I just decided to just keep going. So I'm doing that, and then I'm going to put um, some more mozzarella cheese on top, as you can see. And then I'm also going to put some dried parsley flakes on top, just for some garnish and some little green, and I like it. I like the parsley on top. It just makes it look more delicious. So I like I don't like to leave that out. I always like to put parsley on. So then I'm going to put it into a, a 375 degree oven. And I cooked them for about 20 minutes with the foil on. I'm going to put foil on this before I put it in the oven. Um, and then I took it out and took the foil off and then I Put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes and it turned out just wonderful. So here we are, it's all done, it's nice and hot and it just turned out really well. Really good. I served it with a side Caesar salad and a little bit of naan bread. Um, it just turned out really well. And like I said, I was going to do manicotti, but the shells were just as, as good. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.